actually, this is the first time I've done a lot of speeches. But this is the first time I've done a commencement speech. And what is a commencement speech? It's an opportunity to share my experience, values, and advice. And that's what I'm going to do over the, uh, the next few minutes. I wish I had hours, if not days, to sit down with each and every one of you and uh, help you, mentor you, and so on. But unfortunately, it's just a few minutes here today. But what I want to do is make a possible impact on you. And what I'd like to do here is to talk to you about success. Because there is nothing more important than all of you being successful. But there's a lot of confusion about what success means. Definition of success, from my perspective, is someone who has achieved one's endeavors. I will tell you right now, success is not about making a lot of money. It is not. And if you chase money, you are not going to be successful. Now, I will tell you, if someone hits a lottery, in my perspective, they're not successful. They're lucky. And if you're going to chase luck, you're never going to make any uh, progress whatsoever. What I'd like to do right now is to share with you what I believe are the three ingredients for success. If I do anything today, it's about instilling in you three words, three key ingredients that hopefully you will take with you for the rest of your life. Think back on this because I've had an opportunity to do just that. And the three ingredients I'm going to talk to you about, you can apply to virtually anyone you point to with success. And I think you're going to be surprised with these three ingredients. The first one is passion. And what is my definition of passion? It's a strong or extravagant fondness, enthusiasm, or desire for something. It's your dreams. For me, my passion is technology, and a lot of you know that. But you also heard from Kiana that another one of my passions are flowers. Oh, I love flowers. And by the way, guys, right now, it's tulip season. <laughs> tulips are beautiful. When you look at this, this, the, uh, the tulips here, they're just beautiful. It's life. It's, it's, it just excuses um, just uh, beauty. But I will also tell you, it also shows passion. Now, here's the really interesting thing. I know, we all know, that a whole lot of people have little or no passion. And the really, really sad thing is that at work, throughout my entire career, but at work at Gap, I work with a lot of people that have little or no passion. This is what a flower looks like, a tulip without passion. And the sad thing is that I do work with these folks. It is a bit sad when you think about it that somebody could go through their entire lives without passion. You gotta have that great ingredient. And I would say that's the number one ingredient because without passion, you're not gonna be able to be successful at anything you're doing. But it doesn't end there. Now let me go to the next secret ingredient. And that secret ingredient is energy. It's great that you got passion, but you need to have energy behind it. Definition of energy is a willingness, physical effort, and personal sacrifice expended in order to bring one's passion to life. I have something really funny to tell you, and we all know this. We all have a passion for music in this room. We do. We all are in the shower or in our cars, and we're humming along, and we are pretending that we're rock stars. That's passion. And we all have a passion for the music, and we're dreaming of being on the stage and being this cool, cool musician or whatever. But the funniest thing is that very few of us ever it put in, expend the effort in order to get to be a, a successful music, musician. But I would also say most people really don't follow their dreams. 
And the reason for that is because it requires a great deal of effort. The word talent bothers me because someone will say, ah, oh, that person's talented. But then when you look at that word, you really bring it uh, you know, and, and study it, you realize, wait a second, the term talent basically means someone who not only has passion, but has put in the energy to be successful. And when you look at some of the great, great leaders, people that we know, they've done it. Now, I've talked to some of you um, about 10,000 hours. And that it's the whole concept that if you're going to be good at something, it's going to require a minimum of 10,000 hours. For me, technology, I've now calculated that it's probably around 70,000 hours. I've been doing it for a big portion of my career. And this is where it gets really interesting, too, because sometimes we get confused between um, basically enthusiasm, we get confused uh, with energy and what it really represents, because energy is discipline. It's hard work. But it doesn't also mean that um, you've got to approach it in a way that means uh, formal education. Not that you guys shouldn't be getting your degrees. But the really interesting thing, and Kiana really nailed it, you know, did you hear that my degrees are in political science? They're not in computer science. Do you realize, guys, I've only taken one course, and it was only for a half a semester, computer programming. But that course fundamentally changed my life. In fact, I was required to take this computer programming course in order for me to graduate with a political science bachelor's degree. And I thought, okay, I'm going to struggle through this course because I thought, oh my gosh, there's probably a lot of math and everything. Something happened. I was so intrigued by it, immersed. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And although I earned um, a, a master's degree and started working on my PhD in political science, guess what, guys? Everything I was doing in relation to those degrees, I was in getting um, technology um, and um, uh, software involved in all of my studies. And then when I finally made the decision not to pursue an advanced degree and get a job as a software developer, uh, that didn't stop. I opened up every book possible. Um, my wife, Janet, right here will attest at a very early age, I was just studying everything I could. I wanted to be the best that I could. It's hard work. It's absolutely hard work. It's funny. There's a woman that I know at Gap Inc. She's more like this at work. But the really interesting thing is that one day a few years ago, I had a conversation with her and I said, what do you do as a hobby? All of a sudden, her eyes opened up and she says, Paul, what I do in all of my spare time and on the weekends is make custom jewelry. And she showed me what she did. And I realized, oh my gosh, this is a woman who needs to follow her passion. She's not following money. And in fact, the sad thing is I think she's working at Gap for money, not for what she really needs to do. And that is to follow her passion. So don't forget energy. But there's one other secret ingredient here for success. Love. No kidding. Passion. Energy. And love. And what do I mean by love? It's a strong feeling of affection, concern, and compassion towards others. It's how you treat and engage others. Think about it, guys. Everybody you know who's been successful, the foundation, the root, is around love for others. It's about bringing others in on what you're doing, engaging with others. Interesting enough, this Year Up program has a foundation of love, compassion, and concern for others. Isn't that interesting? The really disturbing thing for me is that if we as humans on this planet treated each other with love and respect, it would be a, such a different world. I think you all will attest that um, a lot of folks love their pets more than they even love their neighbor. I mean, how many have gone into a Safeway 
and they've got you know Muffy the Chihuahua in the uh, the shopping cart seat and so on, and they're doing goo goo and the whole bit, and all drawled up and everything. Yet they're not even engaging with their fellow humans on the planet. It is so important for you not to forget that you can't be successful without others. Okay, so I gave you the three ingredients. What were those? Those were passion, energy, and love. Let's apply it to a couple of key people. Christelle, are you here? S stand up. That poor woman had no idea I was going to call out her name. <laughs> but as part of my doing this commencement speech and bringing a case study to bear, um, she gave me the idea of somebody. Because Griselle reached out to me, which by the way, I would love for all of you to feel that you can do. Please connect with me on um, LinkedIn. Um, and I'm more than happy to help you in your future endeavors. But Griselle reached out to me because she has a passion. And Griselle, what's your passion? Walt Disney! The Walt Disney Company. And it just so happens I have uh, a lot of history as a consultant with the Walt Disney Company. And so she and I are going to get together, have a call, um, or maybe coffee, and talk about how uh, she can possibly make inroads into the Walt Disney Company. And that, it's like, wait a second. Mr. Walt Disney, passion, energy, and love. Think about it, guys. Mr. Walt Disney is a perfect example of what I'm describing right now. I will give you another example. Very, very close to home. My own son, Kevin. My son, Kevin, is 24 years old, and he's a musician down in Los Angeles. My son has exhibited those same three ingredients. He has an unbelievable passion for music, like you wouldn't believe. But he's also put in, as a very young man, a tremendous amount of energy. You see, if you're going to be a successful musician, you've got to have the passion. You've got to have the talent. You only get the talent through energy. But you also have to have the love. And what do I mean by the love as it, uh, as it applies to a musician? It's about the love for your, your entire fan base. And my son has gone out of the way to treat each and every one of his fans with the utmost respect, reaching out to them constantly throughout the day. You put those three ingredients together, and you got success. And so here I am talking about a rock star in the shower. But this morning, I got up, went to iTunes, and the song that my son released earlier this week is on the dance genre of iTunes and moving up fast. I got to tell you, I'm so proud of him, but I would like for you never to forget those three key ingredients of passion energy, and love. I want to thank all of the graduates. Uh, I know that you are going to be very successful in your careers. And again, if there's anything that I can do with, uh, for you in the future, please call on me. Thank you.